Hello everyone, I hope you're having a good day. This time I'm going to be making some Poro snacks, which is a little treat from League of Legends that they feed to Poros. I'll show a picture here so you can see what I'm aiming for. So let me show you how to make them. So here I've got 75 millilitres of milk, and to that I've added 10 grams of unsalted butter. I'm just going to warm that in the microwave until the butter melts. In this bowl here, I've got 125 grams of strong bread flour. And then I'm adding one teaspoon or 2.5 grams of yeast and then half a teaspoon or 2.5 grams of salt. And you can see them adding them to the opposite sides of the bowl because the salt will kill the yeast if it touches it. So you can see here the butter is nicely melted. I'm just going to add that straight to the flour and then just stir for a little bit until it's just kind of come together. I'm then going to whisk together one medium egg. Then I'm going to add about half the whisked egg to the mixture and then beat it vigorously for about five minutes until it becomes smooth and elastic. It will still be a little bit sticky here, but that's okay. This is the kind of texture we're looking for. You can see it's a lot smoother, far more elastic, but as I said before, still quite sticky. So we're just gonna cover this with cling film and then put it in a warm place. I use my airing cupboard for about two hours to prove. After the two hours, this is what my dough looked like. So I'm just gonna take off the cling film, add a little bit of flour to the top and then place it onto my work surface. I've then rolled the dough out into a rectangle about the thickness of a pound coin and covered it in the sugar and the cinnamon mixture. Here I used 15 grams of dark brown sugar and half a teaspoon of cinnamon that I just mixed together. I spread it evenly over the top and I'm just pressing it down with my hand to make sure that when I roll the dough the cinnamon and sugar doesn't just slide all the way along. So here I'm doing the fold, I'm just going to turn over the first little bit to start with. I'm going to do this slowly and take your time. It doesn't have to be super tight either because the dough is going to prove again and it will fill out all them spaces. So you're just taking your time and rolling it all the way up until you've gone all the way from one end to the other. To keep the shape nicely, I'm pushing in the ends and then also kind of smearing the final edge into the rest of the dough and rolling it together just to hold everything together. Now I'm going to take my knife and cut it into pieces. I found the best way to do this was to keep cutting it in half until I got eight even pieces. So once I cut them all up, I kind of push them into the work surface to flatten them out to make them a little bit wider, and then just transferred each of them onto a greaseproof paper lined baking sheet. You want to make sure there's enough space in between the cinnamon rolls that they don't merge together when they prove. You want to expect them to double in size after the proving, so just bear that in mind. To keep the moisture in, I'm just going to cover them with cling film and then place them in that hot place again for about another 30 minutes or so. This is what they look like after they've been proved. And then I'm gonna bake these off at 190 degrees for about 25 minutes. When they came out of the oven, the centers had kind of popped up a little bit. You can see here, it kind of spiraled upwards. I want our porridge snacks to be a lot flatter. So I'm actually just gonna crush these together with my hands. It's, it's fine, the texture's already built into the dough, so this just changes the overall shape. So I did this with each one, and then I put a second tray on top, and then my Dutch oven just to weigh it down to kind of set that shape in. So to decorate the porridge snacks, they've each got a little heart on top. So I thought of a couple of different ways of doing this, but I thought jelly would be the best way. So in the UK, you can buy these really concentrated jelly cubes. So I thought it'd be easy enough to just cut a little heart shape out. So I made this little template and then just cut all the hearts out. Had a few different flavors. So I've got lime, orange, blackcurrant, raspberry, and strawberry as well. And now to decorate the porridge snacks, I've got some icing sugar here. This is just icing sugar mixed with water and you want to use um, just enough water to get the consistency, you just play around with it. Um, depends on how much icing sugar you use. But it's very forgiving if it's too runny, you can add more icing sugar. Or if it's too thick, you can add some water back in. So here I'm just spreading the icing on top of each cinnamon roll, trying to make it look as appealing as possible. It's kind of difficult getting the consistency right. Um, I had to keep changing it as I was doing this. Um, yeah, just keep adding it and, and if you tap the side of the roll it kind of helps the ice and sugar distribute more evenly. You can see me adding a little bit more here just to make it look a bit better. This has got a nice swirl in the top. And then to finish it off I just added the little jelly heart on top. So you can see the finished products here, the one in the middle looks really really nice I think. The consistency of the ice and sugar was perfect for it. We also like the other ones where you can kind of see the dough poking through. Just to end on, I thought I'd show you me cutting one of them open. So you can see the structure that I built up inside. You can see here the nice layers that are formed and the caramelized brown sugar and the cinnamon. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching.